Hello guys. So in this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure HTTP Custom, which is an Android VPN that allows users to create and customize VPN connections using protocols such as SSH, HTTP, SSL tunneling, as well as many other protocols. It's often used for bypassing restrictions, securing internet connections. If you don't have it already, you can download it on the Play Store. So in this guide, I'll be configuring HTTP Custom using SSH WebSocket. I'll make follow-up videos on how to configure it using other protocols. So the first thing you have to do is create a configuration file. And this can be done by heading over to ssh.com. Tap on the menu and then Services and then select SSH WebSocket. Scroll down and select your preferred server location. Select the server that is marked as online and has remaining accounts and tap on create. Scroll down and enter your preferred username and password. Scroll down and copy the second payload. Proceed to open HTTP custom and then tap on the menu and then select payload. After that, paste the copied payload. All right, so to set up the SNI, I'll simply use WhatsApp.com as an example. I can't provide you with any real SNI because of the potential of misuse. That's something you have to look up depending on the country where you are. After getting the SNI, tap on the menu again and select SNI and paste or type in your SNI. After that, head back to SSHOcean.com and copy the server. Then head back to HTTP custom and paste in the text box. Then after the server, add the full colon and the port number 443 followed by the at symbol. Then head back to ssh.com, copy the username and paste it after the at symbol. Add the full colon and head back to SSH and copy the password and paste it back after the full colon which follows the username. The next step is to modify the payload by adding in the SNI in the payload. So head back to the menu, select payload, and where it says SNI underscore bug underscore host, paste in or type your SNI, and then tap on apply. And then proceed to connect and then go on log to confirm if it connects. If you want to save the file, simply tap on the plus icon and select Save Config. Give the configuration any name of your choice if you wish to do so. If you wish to do so, you can lock the file, add the password, or add any other measure listed here that you want before saving and sharing your file. The configuration files are saved in the HTTP custom folder, which you can find in your file explorer. And that's basically how you set up HTTP custom with the WebSocket protocol. If you enjoyed this video and want to see future uploads on how to configure other protocols such as UDP or V2Ray, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.